you doing over the corner? Because there's no wind here. Smart man. Exactly. Okay, the budget's out. 50 beds. So, what else? Uh, so, what? 51 more RCMP officers, 51% or 15% increase uh, for rural areas for more policing. We're also, for the first time, going to have actual programming in our correctional facility. She looks better than who you had before. It looks a little, she smiles a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's, what's her name again? Uh, Jessica. Uh, no, no, what's her name? That, that, that one there that was chasing you, that was chasing me away? People like it. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, what's her name? <laughs> Laverne. Yeah, Laverne. Oh, sorry. Laverne was sorry. Great. Uh, flashback. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> flashback. Uh, it's going to take a while. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, go, go ahead. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> What were we talking about? We're talking about RCMP okay, and Okay, so 15%. RCMP increase, yeah. Uh, uh, a huge increase to that. And the correctional programming. So our provincial correctional facilities, they had basically zero programming. They nothing, had nothing. Not, nothing. We know that. Nothing. That's changing. So we met with uh, non-profit groups, faith-based groups, clinical groups. Who? I did. Who did you meet? Who? Oh, geez, there was uh, Portage, Village of Hope. So far, so good. Uh, Village of Hope, I seen God, okay. Well, hey, it changes yeah. lives. Oh, that's right, you're your, your, your former pastor. Yeah, I gotta watch, sorry, I, yeah. I gotta watch, sorry, I gotta do it with my right hand. Okay, <laughs> sorry, go but, ahead. But the idea is, is we get everybody together, right? It doesn't matter what, if you're if you're showing success with people recovering from addictions, we want you at the table, right? So so we're, we've invested uh, close to $4 million on bringing those programs into the, the correctional facilities. So when people come in, they're less likely to come back. That's the goal, because we have a high percentage of people come into the jails and, and, and they go out and they come back in. I hear that yesterday, that they want to go out, they want to come out clean, but once they go in there, they got a record. So they can't find a job anyway. Well, then that's places like the John Howard Society and some of these other places what we're working with, say, okay, how do we connect the dots for people that are coming out clean, want to change in life, but just need a, a fair shake to, to make it happen. So we're working with all these groups now to try to get that success up. So what are we going to do about Metheads and downtown Fredericton? The, every downtown in New Brunswick is the anchor every of the city, the, of the area. Yeah. So every downtown is in a crisis right I know, now. I know. And it's spring and summer's coming. Yeah. What's going to happen? So so my, my thought process on that is first thing you have to do is you have to offer options. And we haven't had many options in the Bring past. Bring a horse to water. I, I know, but but that's where enforcement needs to come in, right? Yeah. If the horse doesn't want to drink the water, mm -hmm. then the enforcement has to step in and say, you know, you've got no choice. You're but they got charter rights. Well, yeah, but people have rights to be safe too. Voila! Oh, sorry, People Alliance. You don't like the word. Oh, sorry, Fla flashback again. I got to get rid of these flashbacks. Voila! People have rights too. Yeah. So the citizens in Moncton, Hundreds of meth heads are walking the street at night, and the citizens have to lock their doors and lock their windows. Yeah. Have you been been to Moncton? I have. Have you did like we did went for a little tour? Yeah. Well, look, I've I've seen. Or you just sat with the meeting with the, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? No. Ensemble, Mazon Ensemble. No, look, I've walked downtown Moncton. I, I I feel the pain. I I get what businesses and people are saying down there. The thing is, Charles. This isn't a Fredericton, Moncton, this isn't even a New Brunswick issue. This is every city we across know North that. America. We know that, every but New Brunswick is so small. I know, and, and, and that's why I'm saying, like, I was very pleased with what the government is doing in relation to that those extra 50 beds, increasing support for mental health and addictions, and enforcement. It has to work What about change the Mental Health Act, Section 10? That if you see a 16-year-old out of control, that you can bring them well, in a... Uh, Aresti Ghosh, we talked about that before, yeah. and a panel of psychologists will decide, you know, when well, there, he there or she be, can go on. Look, I agree, there has to be something, right? Because again, it gets back to, yes, I understand charter rights free, you've got to respect that, but you've got to equally respect the public safety. And if people do not feel safe going to work, they don't feel safe going down the street, that's an issue. So it's it's got to be dealt with. I like her. She just uh, she don't say anything. She, all, all she did is this with her leg, like another word. Okay, I, 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 how how long we're gonna stay here? Take a picture. Take a picture of me and him, and send it to me. She he knows my email address. Yeah, here. Remember when I grabbed it? Did I miss anything? Oh, I, I mean, there's lots. Look, it's I know the there's a lot we've ever seen. It's the growth in this province is great. I mean, it's got its challenges because obviously. Healthcare and education, more people means more services required. Right? And also, you also Mutton, the guy that said he wanted to try drugs and experience it, and they gave him the needles. 
And they never put a brochure inside saying no to drugs. Yeah. No, I, look, I, it's not my, not my department, but I, I, I'm not much of a fan of these safe injection sites. It's not no. my thing. I'm not an addiction specialist either, so I just kind of... One more thing. Why do I get involved in these things anyway? How come I can't mind my own guys? Well, somebody's got to know what's going on out there. Mainstream media is our big deal.